Hello everyone, this is Manjunath Rawat. In this video, we are going to learn the graphical user interface of the AutoCAD 2013. So let's get started. If you just look out over the extreme topmost left corner point, we have one icon as a capital A. If you just click over there, this is nothing but the application menu. So in that, you will have these are the options the first option we have new so whenever we are going to start for the new drawing in that case we just go with this drawing option available in a new so if i just click over here you can see one pop-up window will get appear for the screen and here you can see the file name and the extension as a dot dwt so that file we are going to open to start our construction so already i have open this file for the actual demonstration so let me close this option now if i just click once again over there the next option we have open so in that case you can open the previously constructed AutoCAD drawing file for our reference or for the modification now the next option we have as a save again to the next we have save as option in that you will get these are the options to save our constructions. Now the next option we have export. So many times we need to save all the constructions in a PDF format. So that we can have over here. Again, these are the different options we have in this export option. Now this is nothing but the publish. So many times we need to send an email of our drawn construction view. Again, we can just send it to the 3D printing facility available if we have in a laboratory so directly we can connect this drawn construction for the 3d printing as well so this is nothing but the print option so in that case just we can go for the actual printing for the selected layout and we will have that over here now this is nothing but the drawing utilities so these are the drawing utilities we will have for this option now at the end we have this close option now if you just look out over here we have one search option over there so we can directly search for the required drawing over here by typing the name of that file and this is nothing but the recent documents that we have in our system now the next we have open document and at the bottom you will see these two options the exit as well as these options so if i just click over this options button the another window will get pop up over the screen so in that you can just do the modification related to display you can just select the proper file again we have a option for the open and save again port and publish then system configuration we can change user preferences we can define here you can define the units as well again the next option we have drafting so in that we can just do the modification related to cursor size and this is nothing but the 3d modeling options we have over here so these are the different options we will get in this application menu bar now let me close this now the same option we will get over this quick access toolbar so this is nothing but the quick access toolbar okay so whatever the options we have in application bar the same option you will get over here so this is nothing but the oh, new file open file save save as again this is nothing but the cloud option again plot option undo redo option and this is nothing but the workspace that we have selected now if i just click to the next of this for the drop down menu this is nothing but the customized quick access toolbar so if i just click over here you can see we have these are the options over there so we can customize this quick access toolbar now over here you can see the different options available over here in a quick access toolbar we can add the different options by selecting these options over there so if i just select this match property you can see this match property is get added over here okay so which is not present previously now to the next we have one info center so this is nothing but the info center we have okay so here you will get the search option again this is nothing but the autodesk sign in this is nothing but the autodesk exchange apps and the stake connection in that you can find the different options as well 
it is nothing but the info center so whatever the information we are going to feed to this auto uh, disk while logging this software that we will get over here okay again this is nothing but the uh, search bar again here you can search the different drawings that we have done or the different toolbars that we can directly search over here so this is all about this uh, application bar as well as this customized uh, quick access toolbar over here that we have now if you just look out through this AutoCAD specific window control so that we have over here to the extreme topmost right corner so this is nothing but the AutoCAD specific window control so in that we can minimize our construction view again this is nothing but the getting this restored down and up this is nothing but the closing the total window that we have over the screen right now now to the next we are going to see what is meant by drawing specific window control so this is nothing but the AutoCAD specific window control and this is nothing but the drawing specific window control so this is applicable for this workspace only so this is nothing but the workspace where we are going to construct all our views so that we can control by this drawing specific control window so again we can minimize it we can again restore to this required size again this is nothing but the close option now if we just uh, look out over here to the topmost right corner of this specific drawing window so here we have view code control okay and to the next we have view controls and again to that next we have visual style control and if i just click over this view code control option just single click over there you will get these are the options okay again if i just click next to this view controls you will get these are the options for the view control so right now we are working in a top view likewise we can have a bottom left right front back again southwest isometric southeast isometric northeast northwest isometric so these are the options we will have over here we can go with the perspective view as well again if i just click for the next option that we have over here which nothing but the visual style control if i just click over there you can see these are the options we have okay so by default it is 2d wireframe so most of the time the autocad is going to be preferred to have a two dimensional construction view so this construction view we are going to select while starting for the any kind of construction in autocad now the next thing that we need to understand is nothing but this ribbon portion so whatever you are going to see right now over here okay so this is nothing but the ribbon so this ribbon we can customize by this option okay so you can just move your cursor over here you can see one message for the window minimize to the panel buttons so initially we have this ribbon view so that we can easily identify the each and every tool we have in autocad and to customize this just click over here so that we will get minimized to this panel button now you can see the change so there is nothing but the panel buttons okay so again if you just move your cursor over this panel buttons again the detailed toolbars we will get over there again if i just move my cursor over here it will give one message can we minimize to this panel title again if i just click over there okay so these are the only titles that we have over there again if i just move my cursor over here and click once over there you can see all those options are gone now only the tabs are remaining over there so again to have a full ribbon view just click once over there it will show us the total ribbon view like this okay so this is all about the ribbon view that we have over here okay now if you just look out over here to the bottom left corner of this working space this is nothing but the user coordinate system okay so this is x axis and y axis so we are working in a 2d wireframe okay so we have the two axes x and y 
it is nothing but the user coordinate system and this is the icon for ucs okay now exactly opposite to this user coordinate system you can find one wcs option over here it is nothing but the world coordinate system okay and above that you can see the directions so that we can easily identify in which direction we are going to construct all our views so we can have a look with respect to this east south east side again north west and south side so while preparing the constructional view for the civil engineering all the construction views are going to be preferred with respect to this northern side so that we can come to know by this world coordinate system over here now exactly over here okay middle of this working space this is nothing but the command prompt line okay so whatever the command we want to search that we can search over here as well suppose i want to search a line command so just type line over there so the options related to these lines are going to be highlighted over here okay so we have two options either we can directly select this line command just clicking over here or you can just type it over here like this or you can just move your cursor over this workspace and without clicking anywhere over the workspace just type line over the keyboard the same option we will get over the screen <clears throat> so this is all about the command prompt line now many times uh, by mistake we are unable to find this command prompt line so if i just close it i will show you how we are going to uh, recall this command prompt line now here you can see the message to display the command line window again you have to press control plus 9 okay now let me press over this s option and again i will just press this control and 9 you can see again that command prompt line is going to visible over the screen now below this we have one status bar okay so this is nothing but the status bar so these are the toggles we have in a status bar so all these options we will see in a detail in a next video so how we are going to use all these options uh, that i will illustrate you by taking one example so that you will come to know what is the exact use of all these status bar toggles over there now again this is nothing but the status bar options over here so this is nothing but the model or the paper space so right now we are working in a model over here we can have the layout 1 and layout 2 option as well now if we just look out over here okay so this is nothing but the quick view layout so if i just click on that you can see we have these two options over there so right now we are working in a model so similarly we can work with this layout 1 and layout 2 as well again if i just click over this next option you can see only this layout 1 or the working space is going to be highlighted exactly at the middle so right now we are working for the drawing one in a model okay now if we just uh, look out over this application status bar menu and if we just click over this drop down now you can see these are the options already we have picked up okay now to customize this status bar over here that we have over here we have one option over here status toggle okay now you can see the same options already we have enabled and that we uh, we will get over here so the first option is nothing but the infer constraint so that you can find over here so this is nothing but the infer constraint okay now this is nothing but the snap again grid line so this is nothing but the grid line this is ortho mode okay this is polar again this is nothing but the snap o snap 3d snap dynamic user control system or the dynamic input so this is nothing but the dynamic input okay so likewise we can customize this status bar as well now if we just look out over here so this is nothing but the navigation bar okay so here you will get the first option full navigation wheel there you can go with the different options available over there if i just click over this drop down menu you will see the first option we have full navigation wheel again mini full navigation wheel mini view object wheel the 
the same you will get over here as well okay by means of this given east north west and south width okay again we can select the proper uh, orientation by just clicking over there now let me show you so here you can just go with the different kind of orientations over there so if i just click over here you can see we are able to change this orientation like this Now this is nothing but the pan option. Okay, so we can move our workspace as per the our requirement. Now this is nothing but the different zoom options we have over there. Now this is related to orbit rotation. Okay, and this is going to be used to show some motion, or we can just capture the screen while uh, drawing any kind of constructions over there. Okay, so this is all about this uh, graphical user interface of this AutoCAD 2013. Now, if I move my cursor over any of the command, now you can see it will give us one illustration for that particular command. So, this is nothing but the tool tip illustration. So, it will just give us some brief introduction about that command and how we have to use it. So, this is nothing but the tool tip illustration. So, you can have a tool tip illustration for any of the command. Present over this ribbon. Now, many times we need to find some shortcut keys, okay, so that we can easily uh, get that particular command. Now, to know which are the shortcut keys we have, just press Alt button over the keyboard. Now, you will come to know which are the shortcut keys we have for different kind of tools or the commands, okay. Now, here you can see this nothing but the capital H for the polyline, again I N for this circle, again I N for this arc as well, okay. So you can just pick any of this shortcut keys and that particular toolbar is going to be enabled by a selection, okay. Now to come out of this, just press escape button so that all the shortcut keys are removed. Now to see the history of the construction which are the tools or the toolbars or the commands we have used till now so to get all these history just click over here okay and press f2 button over the keyboard so by means of that you will come to know which are the commands we have used till now so this is uh, useful when we are going to create a similar kind of geometry and we are going to compare it uh, in what time or with minimal commands we have completed so to get the all the detail ideas we will just go through this history option again just press escape button or you can just click outside that window so it is going to be closed so this is uh, all about this user coordinate system in autocad 2013 so hope uh, you will get some idea about this user interface and that will definitely help you out to start with this basics of AutoCAD. Thank you.